So I wanted to do a screencast of a little project we did for a client uh, just recently. Um, the client is uh, has a bunch of different Linux boxes uh, as desktops and they wanted to customize a uh, version of Fedora to run um, on their desktops consistently. Uh, things like they wanted to include Chrome, Flash, and a bunch of utilities that the admins were using like test disk and memchecker uh, so they can repair hard drives. Um, they wanted some UI changes uh, so I wanted to just show a special install CD, a live CD that we created. Uh, we basically took Fedora, created some custom kickstart uh, um, files and built them their custom ISO. So this is it. Um, you'll notice it has GNOME 3. Uh, one of the things is one of the admins really doesn't like Unity uh, on uh, Ubuntu so they really are pushing the fedora on the desktops now so gnome 3 is what they they chose as their new desktop and here i am on the gnome 3 desktop you'll notice at the top uh, this is a, an addition we put in off the live cd so it has a real quick drop down of you know the folders that they can access uh, another uh, ui changes is the number of workstations and this dynamically changes depending on the activities that i'm doing Another UI change they wanted, they wanted the power off because normally you only get the log off. You have to hit a special key. I think it's Alt or Control to get the extra features down here. Uh, and they thought that was kind of silly, so we added this in there for them. And you'll notice that the has the regular GNOME features like the calendar. And you can integrate this. This is using Evolution email client in the background uh, to connect to Google. So you'll have all your calendars in here and the dates would show up. Uh, so under activities you'll notice that there's a customized uh, toolbar on the left so we have Firefox and Chrome as the browsers on this particular custom ISO and you'll notice if you open up Chrome I mean uh, Firefox it goes to Google uh, instead of the Fedora uh, page and uh, out of the box uh, you'll notice that YouTube is working now this is important it's not the 32-bit flash that's running in here it's actually the 64-bit so if you go to about it'll actually pull in it'll say what version you have whoops whoops so in here you'll see you have the latest version and uh, you'll see what other people are running what their latest versions are uh, and it's the 64-bit version it's not the 32-bit flash which is shipped with most distros uh, so that and it, it also f comes over to the YouTube I mean uh, to Chrome Let me pause that and go to and you notice you're running the same version 64-bit so uh, they wanted to switch the uh, command line interface, the terminal, uh, so they put terminator in there and it lets you do things like that where you can run commands on one side and the other one I can even split it horizontally here, you can, it just gives you a little bit more features uh, it has uh, the normal burner for gnome uh, regular image in, so that if you have cameras it will pull in uh, all your images uh, you know, the file manager they added they wanted to add a bunch of the Nautilus commands so like right can right click and go open terminal in here and it'll open up the window in there um, it also has uh, more compression options so I can choose 7-zip, R, uh, jar files, java files, zip and uh, it'll zip it up for me I can double click on the zip and it'll open up obviously you can also it also has built in a uh, seahorse is built into gnome and there's a bunch of plugins that we added in there uh, for this client to give it more security um, those are pretty much the options in here that, that they wanted to add in oh it also has uh, version checking so if you you can revert to a previous version so it'll you can set up snapshots in here so that if there's a folder in here you're always making changes it'll do a snapshot and you can revert back to older settings uh, they their programming shop so they wanted to have genie put in along with a bunch of the plugins so we customized the CD 
to allow for that so it's got um, you know uh, all these extra plugins that are normally not in there uh, one of the things is they're big uh, PHP uh, Django and um, Ruby shop so um, they you know are married to this particular editor so we want to make sure we put it in there for them and then it's got uh, LibreOffice off obviously now you notice it loaded up pretty quick here that's because this particular version of Fedora that we built uh, we included some caching uh, which uh, it comes in the form of a, a program called preloader and that's loaded in here so it uh, it loads up pretty quick you'll notice the spreadsheet comes up pretty fast too um, in addition to that there's uh, uh, the PDF function it can import PDFs as well as uh, so you can edit the PDFs uh, under drawing you can open up and edit the PDF within here it also has uh, under the printers we added cups PDF so you can it's like PDF creator on Windows where you can actually create PDFs out of anything you're printing uh, so that's available in the system and you'll notice in here we'll just go down the list the ISO management uh, this is a particular program that lets you customize the GNOME UI and add in things that would normally be harder to add in like uh, third-party repositories uh, but you can customize the uh, you know settings like Firefox and and things like that they they I guess they wanted to tweak uh, the system visually rather than go into text files and they they like this app so they requested to put it in there. Um, a, there's a couple audio players in here that are not normally installed into GNOME. Uh, this is one of them. Uh, it's based on a uh, Winamp um, a CD extractor, I guess, for music. Some video editing. Uh, they also have a department that that deals with video uh, for their website, like to create banners and everything. So they wanted to. Uh, be able to edit and convert the videos on the fly. Uh, Bluefish, so that they can edit HTML. Uh, this is a webcam utility that was put in so that they can obviously uh, use their webcams on their laptops and um, backup program. Uh, another DVD converter. This is for diagramming so that they can diagram, I guess, uh, flowcharts. Uh, more email uh, chat program uh, Filezilla. Oh, they they also requested a um, a GUI for the firewall so that they can configure their desktop firewall and imaging software. It looks like they have miscellaneous some other miscellaneous software in here. Anyways, all of these were configured to be installed and some of these are third-party repositories so we had to configure the Fedora to actually pull from those repositories so that they get updated whenever there's an update uh, up here you know, these are all customized uh, repositories that were added in here off the live CD so when they do the install on the desktop not only will they get the software but it'll auto update whenever there's a change uh, for the distro. So this is just an example of how we customize this. We also uh, customize uh, Ubuntu for another client and we're going to show a screencast of that uh, sooner. Um, this particular uh, CD came in at 1.1 gig and it comes with all the CDs so it's on a DVD and uh, the client's very happy. It runs very fast. It's very stable. Um, there's also changes that we made to um, uh, the sys control file which controls the runtime the kernel so like uh, we increase the v uh, lower the VM swappiness so it uses more of the memory most of the computers have a gig or more so uh, we customized it for the hardware so that it runs more optimized on the hardware um, we added a bunch of Wi-Fi drivers to it so that way it'll pick up more Wi-Fi devices uh, so that's just an idea of uh, one of the projects that we did over here. I hope you enjoyed the screencast. Bye.